welcome in. It's a monkey mar. Before we get into today's a quick a video, please make sure you click that subscribe button, the bell for notification, and of course the like. Most of you have seen it and some of you wanted me to touch on it. Let's get into Letitia Stalk's letter to the judge about how abused she is. So Letitia Stalk claims she is being mistreated in county jail. So she wrote this letter to the judge on August 12th of 2020. Good afternoon, sir. I thank you for taking the time out to read my letter and my concerns about an unfair process that is going on in my case. I have expressed these concerns several times to my defense team and feel that I have not been afforded my rights as a United States citizen. It has been five months and I've met with my defense team one time in March 2020. It is the middle of August. I understand this pandemic is unforeseen, but I don't feel I should be held unconstitutionally, denied access to my attorneys, constitutional rights violated, and be abused in the process. First, as you know, there is over 30,000 and growing pages of discovery in my case. I cannot successfully participate in my defense on a phone call three times a week, one hour at the jail. I have no way to view any videos, read any reports, review phone data, etc. I'm not an active participant in my case. I know that the jail is listening to my attorney client calls as on several occasions I commented about someone or something specific and the jail immediately acted upon it. Officers also wait outside the door, easy to hear, and sometimes a video camera is on as the TV near the phone. Sir, these things are a violation of my rights. In addition, I have no way to write things down as I am always restrained with more times than not causing injury. I understand you cannot tell the jail how to run their facility, but I know that I can't ignore my rights being violated. Next, sir, I understand the Eighth Amendment protects cruel and unusual punishments, and I know the Supreme Court says punishment can be just for the crimes. However, I'm in a county jail and I'm presumed innocent, not to mention I am innocent and we will prove it. Whew. I've been a pillar in my community in South Carolina. I have no adult record, never done drugs, and have a doctorate degree in education. I've proven myself as a responsible citizen and should not be subjected to the cruel punishment that I receive at CJC. Over 15 plus times I have been abused in transport ranging from injured ribs, not on my head, several ankle and wrist bleedings, bruising on my knee in my cell, loss of feelings in my hands several times. I've had to be unsure two weeks due to the poison comments and just recently on August 11, 2020, I received threats in my peanut butter. <laughs> I don't <laughs> I don't know whether to laugh or or uh, that because <laughs> one second <laughs> because I provided evidence of not only my innocence but evidence that will show who it was through my PI show who it was what who did what they did to Gannon you did it as a result of this, I assume their rumors use people in trusted positions, their runners use people in trusted positions in jail to send me threats and my food, and I'm terrified of what will happen next. I don't know how I'm supposed to properly defend myself going through this unfair punishment. Being denied my constitutional rights, being denied access to my attorneys, being under scrutiny causing daily mental disturbances, being restrained causing injuries, and being denied law library access, etc. This is not okay in a county in which our country prides itself on democracy. 
a country with a flag that got a hole in it at Flinders Field in World War One. One that turned blood red in World War Two. Or the one that got cut with a sword at Chancellorville. Through all of this, mm, through all of the flag stood, we raise here up every morning because this country still stands for freedom, perseverance, justice, and vigilance. And I know what Congress decided on June 14th, 1777, Flag Day, that it still rings true that not even the evil terrorist of 9-11 can take the American spirit away. However, I am showing the same things that Flag showed. I do not feel like a U.S. citizen being treated this way in my beloved country. I'm not getting a fair process. I'm not getting represented properly. And I'll give the benefit of the doubt of a pandemic, but the other unjust treatment is not the way that our founding fathers intended this process to go. Not to mention no pandemic, no terrorist attack, no police riots, etc. can stop our country from being the greatest on earth, upholding the law and staying true to the following one's constitutional rights. This is just a surface of my concerns, as you will see, they only get worse with illegal search and seizure. I was a, I can't read her writing. I was a victim of coercion as it's mental and physical. Sir, you cannot, you can tell I'm educated. However, a person cannot perform under this scrutiny, abuse, and coercion etc. And that's what has happened throughout this entire process. Besides due to inform from my PI, I don't even feel that El Paso has jurisdiction, not to mention the wrong individual. I reach out to you and let you know that I'm very concerned with the process because I know that you will uphold the integrity of the court. The judicial system that I know does not allow a person who is presumed innocent and who is to improperly defend themselves, to be subject to daily abuse and Eighth Amendment violations, does not deny Fifth and Sixth Amendment or a speedy fair trial, does not interfere with attorney-client privilege. Yes, I can tell you many situations in which I know they are listening. Does not physically, mentally, emotionally abuse innocent people waiting on trial does not allow that individual to be in danger, not just from inmates, but from employees also, and does not avoid these situations causing an individual's mental health to decline and safety to be at risk. I live each day not knowing what will happen to me next, what person will put something else in my food, what rights I'll be denied tomorrow, or what injuries will occur next. I support law enforcement, I support our military, our country, and I know that a few bad appeals incidents can ruin it for good people. I extend my concerns to you as the first step in the... This is because my attorneys have refused to let you know due to the public knowing. My life is on the line. I'm innocent and I'm ready to return home and use a doctorate degree, EDD, that I worked delightfully for and cannot do that if I'm not afforded those rights. If I'm fighting for my life daily, I'm clearly no threat to myself, etc. Again, this is just a surface of my concerns and ask that something be done so I can get this behind me. Move past this trial in life. Forgive those who persecuted and afflict me. Continue to be a soldier for Christ and repair my mental state and most importantly, grieve. I need those constitutional rights in order to be successful and participate in this process. I'm a prisoner bound in chains, like Paul said, but I know my Bible's not, not bound. I also know he appointed people in authority and to respect them because they are chosen to uphold the law. Please accept this as my letter of letting you know first, not going over the court's head and following the appropriate chain of command Something has to be done, sir. Thank you. God bless. T. Stelk. P.S. If there is any possible 
to receive acknowledgement of your receipt of this letter so that I know you are aware. Well, well, Miss Letitia Stalk is being mistreated. What happened with the um, Pueblo facility? Because if she's writing this back on 812 from the county jail, she must be back in county. Hmm. And here she says that she won't hurt herself. Right here. I'm clearly no threat to myself. Maybe she got a clearing on her mental stability. Interesting. And I wonder who she's going to prove that did it. We need to find that connection to Florida. All right, guys, like I said before, I am going to attach this PDF file to Letitia Stalk's prison letter in the description below if you guys want to grab a copy. And you know, I want to hear your thoughts on this prison letter and what you guys think. And am I crazy or does the signature say, God bless Dr. T. Stalk? Am I nuts or is that what it says? Eh. <laughs> Make sure you guys drop your comments. I don't know what all of you think, but I think Letitia Stalk is a complete nutter butter from her trying to escape the transit from, uh, where was she, South Carolina to Colorado Springs when she was in Kansas, and then her writing letters to help her escape out of the jail window where she was going to beat it out with a broom because she measured it and it fit her. All right, guys, with that, it is a wrap. I want to thank you all for coming in. Thank you for watching. Please like or dislike whichever you prefer and subscribe. Everyone stay safe from COVID. Stay vigilant and have a good day or a good night wherever you are in the world. And I am out.